Okay, I got into a double school zone? I, um... I don't know what this is. Basically, I got up to where we made those vehicles, and I just jumped down on the other side of the wall here, and I got into this area. I don't know... Um, I'm not sure exactly what a double score zone means. I'm guessing I just get more points in here, but, but it's a new area that we haven't seen yet. Um, I'm just killing everything. I'm I'm a psychopath. <laughs> I don't know who this used car salesman guy is. Um, let's see. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure if this is going to help us with what we were actually trying to do. Like, this just seems to be about uh, getting more points for unlocking stuff. And again, that's really not what I'm wanting to do here. Um, like, I guess it'd be nice, but it's not in any way my objective. Um, there's doors here that I guess either they don't open or maybe they, if they do, yeah, there's nothing in them. Or just sprockets in them. Yeah. I know they're not called sprockets, I forget what they were called, but <laughs> anyway. Um, I don't see any new places to go. Wait, can we get up here? I don't think so. Um, yeah, so I found a new area, but I still have gotten absolutely nowhere near what I was trying to do. I killed another guy. Oh, hey, I can... Wow, you can just jump over that. Okay, so now I'm fighting uh, civilians, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, I'm a monster. Okay. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. See, okay, now we're back here, though. This isn't really where we wanted to be. Where did the stormtrooper go? He just ran away from me. Um, I guess there's stuff over here we didn't get, though. I guess we didn't really look around all that much, but... Um, what is this? This is a new thing. What, what do I do with this? I don't know, it doesn't seem to want to let me do anything with it. I can't force it. Because I, when I force grab, it auto-targets on something else. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. But hey, we're in a new fight. Oh, there's another one of those blue ones. I, they seem to be worth a lot more. Um, See, so yeah, I guess we could have just explored this area better. I really thought that area we went to behind the door was important. But I guess maybe it wasn't? Um, Because, like, as, for as long as we were there, uh, all we did was almost build a... Uh, a walker? What it? I think. I wish I could remember what they were. What they were actually called. Um, I, I think I'm close with that, but it's not quite right. Uh, I don't know who all these people are, so I'm just attacking everyone with a gun, basically. It's not a great strategy, but whatever. Um, there we go. And there's a lot of these guys. This stacked up while we were away in that other area. Um, what is this? What do I do with this? Um, is it care? Okay, I guess, yeah, I guess I have to use it to get to that area up there, but I can't really worry about that right now. There's freaking stormtroopers crawling all over the place. Um, let's see if I can hack and slash away at some of these guys. I wonder, the last wave that we fought did eventually end, even though it didn't seem like it was going to. Yeah, and it looks like maybe this one did too, so let's see. Jump up here, and yeah, yeah, yeah got... More stuff. That's good. Um, yeah, and I guess this is part of what I just found a little bit um, tiresome in the other demo, is that there's a lot of stuff to do, but I'm not sure what stuff is important and what stuff isn't. Um, there's just things everywhere that I can interact with, but like, that. What, what did that do? Did I need to do that? I have no idea. Um, uh, these sliding whatevers, they bother me. I wish I could just jump on them. They look like they should be platforms, but they don't quite work like platforms. Um, oh, more moving stuff. Hold on. I can build something out of this. Maybe I could have built something out of those remains over th in that other area? Because there was all that stuff there. I, I was pressing B, but I don't think I was standing right on top of it because I was trying to... Um, uh, I was trying to use the force on it, like I had all the other stuff, but maybe what I really wanted was to, um, to, to build it like I did with the speeders. Ah, great, this is another jump that's gonna bother me. 
I did a jump like this earlier to get to, but all it led to was a door that only stormtroopers could open, so I didn't bother showing it. But, um, yeah, my, something about the perspective throws me off and I keep jumping closer to the camera. I did the same thing on the other, on the other jump, um, where it took me a few tries just cause, uh, I couldn't quite tell where I was supposed to land. Anyway, only bounty hunters, yeah, so it's another door that I can't even open, so that was a great great way for me to spend my time. Let's try going back to this other area though and see if we can build something out of the um, the parts that were over there from that whatever it was that we destroyed because uh, they were little Lego pieces that were jumping around so maybe they'll help us with our little machine here or something I don't know. Well, let me try standing directly on them and pressing B see if this does anything okay so yeah I can build Oh, I built stairs for- oh, this fixes so many things. I feel like an idiot. Um, so now we can open this door finally. I knew there had to be something, I just- I was trying to do the, um, I was trying to do the force on it like I had everything else instead of, um, building properly. So, yeah, we'll just do our build thing. It's weird that there's two ways to construct stuff. Um, one of them is moving around with the force and one of them is like this. I'm not sure why some are one way and some are the other. Like, obviously, moving stuff should be the force. That makes sense. But some of the times we just rearrange it into new parts using the force, too. But anyway, we got our finally got our machine here. So, we're actually making progress. This is where we were supposed to go. But wait, a stormtrooper grabbed it. I wanted I wanted to pilot it. I got stopped on. Uh, let's see. I can force grab it, it looks like. If it'll let me. It's still trying to focus on those stupid blocks. I don't need those anymore. Uh, quit trying to make me grab them. Uh, here we go. Okay, I knocked him out of it. So now I'm in it. There. That's what I wanted. Let me... S Oops, I stepped on Luke. Sorry, Luke. Uh, I wanted to step on the stormtrooper. Where'd he go? Oh, I think that was him there. Okay. This poor guy. Uh, how do I... Okay, I can fire at him. And yeah, it does... It These auto-target as well. So let's see. We should... Let's see if we can use these to break through this wall. I tried attacking this with my lightsaber, but it didn't work, but maybe this thing can just burst through them. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, we're making progress. Let's just blast everything. Um, we are agents of destruction, uh, raining down terror on this poor, unsuspecting spaceport. Um, yeah, so I don't remember this scene in A New Hope, but it has been a while, and I don't think I've... I've only seen the special edition, like, once, so maybe I, they added this and I just forgot about it. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Obi-Wan needs to respawn here. Okay, so... we still got that... I guess... Do we need to build the Millennium Falcon? I, that's what I thought we were building for a second earlier, but it was not. Honestly, we haven't even been in the cantina, uh, which is kind of where I was expecting to go. Oh, hey, there's two of these now. I guess in case we wanted one for two-player. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I got the stormtrooper, but whatever. Um, oh, the door opened finally. Because I guess because we killed all of the stormtroopers, we had missed one earlier and I hadn't noticed. So now we are in uh, prison. Okay, we need to. Looks like we need to line everybody up here. Uh, guys, where are the droids? Get over here. Uh, what's the matter? I don't know why they're... Hold on. Oh, I took over R2-D2. Okay, so the droids can't go through this field, it looks like. But maybe I can use the force on them here. Push them through? No? Well, maybe I can destroy these things. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Huh. This is a weird puzzle. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do here. But, uh... I think C-3PO is dead. I think I killed him. But yeah, they, they don't seem to be able to go through here in, in any way. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Is there something else around here, maybe, that we can use? So like those these four buttons, and obviously we need everyone to stand on them, but my, my droids can't get through here. Uh, 
Okay, I can shoot these as loot. Alright. That was my other thought, but I forgot it almost as soon as I had it. Okay, so now we should be able to move everyone. You know, I, I don't want to be a droid. They, they don't move right. They're slow. Um, so here we go. Now everyone, hopefully... Guys, just... Everyone stand on it. Okay. So now this is open. Let's go on ahead. Hey, now we've got a cutscene. Now we're in the cantina. Okay, so this was before we met Han Solo. I just wasn't sure why we were being attacked like that. That's... Oh. Uh, I look like Han shot first, but... Poor Greedo. Got his midsection blown clean off. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> this is all trans transpiring a lot quicker than I remember, but it's funny. I like... I like the these cutscenes a lot more than the uh, the gameplay, which I think speaks a lot to the Lego franchise's like general charm. It works better when it's kind of doing its own thing. Like the gameplay here could be any game, you know. Like the, there's the building elements and stuff, but I just uh, I don't know. I don't find it as fun. Um, let's see. Can I interact with this? I guess not. It's sparkly, so I thought maybe I could, but... Han Solo does not have the Force, so if those are all things I'm supposed to be using the Force on, then obviously I'm not the right guy right now. But, yeah. Let's follow this arrow, see where we're headed here. Um, blaster characters can grapple to other areas, stand on the red circles, and press B. Okay. Was that Darth Vader? What? Was... Was I just chasing Darth Vader? What's going on here? <laughs> it looked like him, right? Maybe I'm crazy. I thought it was... Pretty sure that's what I saw. Um, it's a weird place to put him, you know? I don't remember him being in this scene. Uh, then again, I don't actually know what scene exactly is supposed to be happening right now. So let's see... Got that guy. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, C-3PO door. Cannot do anything with that. Alright. Uh, lots of these little things, but I don't think we're getting anywhere close to what we would need to unlock a character. Like, we'd have to be focusing pretty hard on that element, I think, in order to actually uh, achieve it. But yeah, so Han, like Luke, instead of having a double jump, has this jump and dive, which is not nearly as useful. Honestly, I don't even know what the point of it is. Like, I, I'm trying to... There might be situations where that would be useful, maybe? Um... <laughs> I can't think of any that we've seen, but maybe there's a part where that would be something we'd want to do. Hold on, can I... what am I building here? Uh, oh, I'm building a launch pad. Okay, so now I can grapple up here. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of interesting that we had to do that. Only bounty hunters... Ah, I shot that guy! How is he gonna open the door? I, I killed him! Uh, let's see... Have we done this grapple yet? Nope. Let's pull this down. And we got some kind of thing here. You can push objects that have black and yellow stripes. Okay. Oh, oops. Uh, let's go back. Come on, Chewie. So how do I push this? Just walk into it? Yeah. And then... Okay. So there we go. Now we got these. Um, I'm still really less interested in gathering, like, coins or sprockets or whatever, and I'm really a lot more interested in trying to get to the next part of the story. Because honestly, the cutscenes in this game are the main reason I'm interested in it all. So, I just want to see more, what more of those there might be in this demo. We've been playing this for a long time. I'm not sure how much of it's going to make it into the final version, but I've been playing this for 40 minutes at this point. So I'm starting to get a little bit tired of it. By which I mean I'm starting to get really tired of it. Uh... But at the same time, I, I kind of want to see what else is in it, you know? What else we have here? Let's see. Can I interact with these things? There's brightly colored blocks under this tarp, but I don't seem to be able to interact with them. Uh, just trying to look for places we haven't been or doors we haven't opened. Um, right now, though, I'm not finding a whole lot. Blast these trash cans. Oh, hey, a plant. Um... I don't seem to be able to interact with it though. So, where have we not gone? Uh, like, I'm sure there's parts of this we haven't explored yet. I'm just having a hard time thinking where they might be. Um, just looking at. I guess 
Uh, for the sake of brevity, I'll go ahead and cut away. I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. Though I have a feeling this demo is probably going to end pretty soon. But I don't know. I guess it's probably not on a time limit like a lot of the ones we've played before. Oh wait, actually, hold on. I just had an idea. There's um, this track continues on the ground. I thought we were supposed to use it to jump up there, but it looks like we can actually maybe use it to open that door. So now that I have an idea, never mind. I'm not going to cut away. I have plans. I seem to remember how to get up there. Um, did I have to? I guess I had to go through over this way. Okay. So. Yeah, we, we pushed that block earlier, um, and I just used it to get some coins, but I I think if I just push it the rest of the... Oh, what? I really thought I was just walking straight into it. Hold on, uh, let me fast forward a little bit. That's more like it. Okay, so now that it's down here, we should be able to push it this way, and then on down this way. We need to get it onto those locks over there. I was wondering what those were for, and now it seems pretty obvious now that I thought about it. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. So this should open up a new door, I hope. Um, let me... Is it not centered right? It doesn't seem to be working. Um, did I not push it far enough? I don't seem to be able to push it any further. Uh... <laughs> Shooting it makes it jump a little bit, but... Oh, okay, and then I blew it up. Alright, so I'm glad I thought of that. There goes Darth Vader again. He's all over the place. I gotta get that guy. He's a bad man. <laughs> I'm still not sure what, what... I'm not sure what's supposed to be happening right now. Like, what what, what am I supposed to be making of this scene? Um, I can ride these things, that's cool. Uh, I'm riding it backwards. That's uh, a bit unfortunate, but... I can use it to open these doors, that's cool. Um, walk around, destroy some doors, they just blow up when I headbutt them. Come on, there we go. Alright. Uh, can't seem to fire my laser. Ooh, I unlocked a sand trooper. Okay. So, if I come back here and free play, I can play as him. But right now, I'm limited to the characters that they choose for the storyline, because I'm, I'm still in like story mode. So I have to play as Han and Chewie here. Although we haven't really tried playing as Chewie, have we? Let's see, can I hit these guys from here? I'm not sure if I did. Um, what is with these plants? Uh, I, okay, so I got one of them. Let me try... If I just... Well, not you, Chewie. There we go. Yeah, so if I'm just standing far enough away, I think it auto-targets them. So... Yeah, I think... Yeah, he's still up there, but let's try, um, see what we can do with this. I don't think he can shoot me from all the way over there. Um, uh, though, I might need to kill him to open a door. Right now, let's see, what do these doors do? Can I shoot them? I can't shoot them, B does nothing. But they're sparkling red. I don't know. I guess, probably... I need to focus on trying to get this last guy. I'm just not sure how when he's all the way up there. I right, got some more stuff. Uh, can we... Does this go anywhere? Over here? Whoa! Oh, hey! Hold on. I jump really high when I dismount. Okay. So, that worked. Um, let's try pulling on this. What does that do? Put a top hat on. Okay. I guess that's useful. Um, oops, I fell off. Hold on, I wanted to see if I could... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. Um, there's an R2-D2 door. Let's see, are these doors open now? No, they're still closed. Um, that's where we came from. I don't know. Punching a robot. Well, as soon as I make any progress, if we get hit with another area that I'm not sure what to do with. And maybe part of my frustration here is because I'm in this let's play mode where I'm just like wanting to move forward as quickly as possible and so I don't want to take the time to solve a puzzle. Um, let's see, can I interact with these? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the red sparkles mean. Like, blue sparkles generally meant that I could like use the force on them. 
White sparkles, I can just open them. I'm guessing red sparkles maybe have something to do with the evil characters, maybe? Um, like, if I was in free mode, I could swap out to, like, Darth Vader or something and use the, the Sith voice on it. That, like, I'm just speculating, but I punched that guy. <laughs> I think it's funny that you can just attack anyone. They don't seem to really care. Um, but yeah, I can't can't get in this story because I don't have R2-D2. Uh, I don't even see any other doors besides those red ones, And but even they only looked like they went to like a treasure area. They didn't look like they went to the next part of the game. So, but at the same time, this feels like we went the right way. I don't think we went to the wrong puzzle or something. Um, yeah, this one doesn't, I don't think this one blows up like the other one did. So... I don't think I would want it to anyway. Like, this one pretty clearly is supposed to lead us up to this ledge. I just have no idea. I don't know. Chewie, can you open it? Where, where'd you go? Okay. Let's see if Chewie can do something with this. No, I want to jump. Okay. I mean, Chewie doesn't have a secondary jump at all. He didn't, like, he doesn't have a dive. Or... There we go. Um, so... He's not able to interact with these either. Uh, okay, I'll meet back with you guys if I find something new. Uh, this time I mean it. <laughs> Alright, so I used the reptile dismount to get up here. Um, and it looks like we can go over to this area. I'm not sure if this is new, though. Okay, yeah, it is. Good. And now we're meet meeting up back up with everyone. There goes Darth Vader again. I don't... Yeah, actually, now that I look closer at it, I don't think that is Darth Vader. Um, like, I've, like I've mentioned before, I'm playing on kind of a small screen here since I'm just playing directly through my laptop instead of using a, uh, a TV. So, <laughs> I just saw a black figure with a cape. It looks, looks like Darth Vader, but it looked like he was wearing, like, a, a bandit over his face instead of um, the typical helmet. So I'm not sure who that was supposed to be. I shot Luke right in the face. That's not good. It's not a good start to our relationship. It's gonna make it awkward later when I'm marrying his sister. So let me see if I can. There we go. You have to be just far enough away, and then they'll auto-target the uh, whoever you're shooting. So yeah, this is definitely not Darth Vader. But I'm not sure who it is. Um, like it has been a while since I've seen the original movies, but I don't remember a character that looked quite like that. Uh, but maybe I don't know. Maybe it's something new for this game. Let's see. There's so many stormtroopers everywhere. I want to just get in the ship and fly off, but uh, doesn't seem to want to let me do that. Let's see. Oh, there's there's old uh, Scarface. Okay, now I guess it's just an uh, some kind of imperial troop leader. He's got a health bar though, so I'm guessing are like parts like we have. So I'm guessing I want to shoot him. He went in here. Can I follow him? Uh, okay, I don't actually know what's happening right now. Um, like I, I hear myself throwing punches, but I have no idea. I don't think I was hitting him though, his heart's never went down. There he is. Uh, he ended up over there somehow, so let me just try to shoot him. Okay, we got a shot in. So I guess I just have to keep killing Stormtroopers until he shows up and then hit him. So we have to do that a couple more times. If that's all we have to do, that shouldn't be too hard. It's just kind of tedious. I have to wait around for him. Like, oh, there he is. Uh, did I get him? Ah, I think I'm, yeah, I missed my chance there. Great. Um, but I guess if those are just the two places he shows up. Um, oh, did I get him? Okay. I guess he's dead. Uh. That, uh, that was easier than I thought. I managed to get off two shots in a row there. Okay, so now we can get on the Falcon. And I'm guessing this is probably going to be the end of the demo. This is about time, because I've been playing this for about an hour. I'm ready to, ready to stop. Uh, oh. Camaraderie and the Stormtroopers. Okay, so off into space we fly. Han's looking pretty happy with himself, but now some uh, Star Destroyers are coming down on us, so... Uh, oh, warp drive. There we go. And now we're at the Death Star. Okay, I'm guessing... Yeah, okay, so we get to see some of what Princess Leia is up to here. 
Oh, they're gonna blow up Alderaan. That's dark. <laughs> She's pretty sassy in this. I don't remember her being quite that uh, um, sassy. I, I can't think of a better word than sassy. But there goes her home planet. So that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. Uh, okay, there we go. I can go into free play now, but I don't think so. Like, I, I'm sure it's fun um, to be able to just be whoever we want to be and just goof off. But like I said, it's been close to an hour at this point that I've been playing this. I am more than ready to move on to our next demo here. All right, next we have uh, Sonic here. Sonic's first next generation outing is a blazing adventure loaded with sharp graphics and a sensation of speed that will blow your mind. We'll have to see about that. Um, I don't think we've played any Sonic games this far into uh, his uh, his history. I think PS2 is about the farthest we've gotten, so this should be interesting to see. I don't think um, any of Sonic's games from this era are very fondly remembered. I could be mistaken, I'm not part of the fandom. Uh, but I think, when I think of the Sonic games that people like, I tend to think of like the early stuff, like the stuff that was actually on Sega consoles. Um, let's see, jump, uh, attacks, B and Y aren't used, that's a little unfortunate, but I guess Sonic controls really don't need a lot of buttons. There's a lot of not used on there. Okay, so here we go. Um, 3D. Okay. Let's see. While jumping, press... Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's what that looks like. It's a bird overhead. I hope it doesn't eat me. I'm having a hard time running in a straight line here. Oh, crap. Something did hit me. What is that? Um... Oh, there's robots here. Okay. Uh, if you say so. Man, this camera is dizzying. I have no idea what's going on. I didn't realize I had hit those robots. Um, I'm having a really hard time getting Sonic to go the way I want him to. I wonder why that is. It's just, um... Maybe it's just my fingers are, like, uh, slipping, but, like, I keep... I keep trying to just run straight forward, and then he, um... He veers one way or the other. In the round part? What? I don't know what he's saying. I just fell through a floor. Okay, there I go. Uh, oh wow, all the way back here? That's really lame, but okay. It didn't take us long to get there. I'm not sure what round part he was talking about. Oh! I found a shortcut, I think? Um, okay. I, I don't know. I'm not really controlling any of this. This is kind of happening, but... Um, all I'm doing is watching at this point. Um... There we go, okay. So what's the round part of the stage that he was talking about? Let's see what this says. A homing attack on the round part? Uh, it disappeared! I can't quite hear this guy because the, the music's so loud. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Um, the text disappeared almost as soon as it started. And uh, the guy's way too quiet. I don't even know what, I, what attacking the round part of the stage would do. Uh, come on. Okay, I need to stay in it, maybe? Uh, on the round part of the statue. Okay. Alright, that's what I was trying to do earlier. But I just fell off the stage instead. Um. Oh. Wait. Ah, uh, crap. How did I get on the path of wind? I don't know. I, uh. This is, yeah. Not, not good. This is not good. Um. So, I don't think I'll be able to get on that path again that I did before. Oh, there he goes off of the stage again. This Sonic is impossible to control. I have no idea how to make him do what I want him to do. He just jumps all over the fucking place. No matter, like, no matter where I'm pointing at, he just goes wherever the fuck he wants. He doesn't... I don't feel like I'm playing this game at all. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's just weird to have so little control over what he's doing. I guess I should just not do anything? Um, like, other than just press forward. That seems to be that when he does, when he's the best, but I just hold forward and don't do anything else. Um, okay. So, alright, now, now I'm on the path of win. And again, it, as long as I don't touch anything, I guess it's fine. Um, I tried to jump through that hoop, but... Oh well. Anyway, finally we hit a checkpoint, so, uh, I don't have to do all that stuff again. Let me attack on the rope. I don't want to do attacks on anything. Whenever I try to do an attack, he fucking dies. Um. 
I don't have, I have no idea how to even get to that rope. Like, it's kind of far away. I don't think I can make it. Um, there we go. Okay, man. Alright, let me... Ugh. I don't know where I'm going. There I go. I'm dead. How did... I don't know how the developers expect me to have any idea what to... Like, where to go. Like, it, okay. It's just weird how he goes all over the place. Like, I can't... Where am I? I'm invisible. Okay. I, I didn't even know where I was. Um, I'm invisible again. Why does he keep disappearing? That can't be intentional, right? Like, I didn't pick up, like, an invisibility power-up or something. Even if I did, it, I have no idea what it would have done, because it didn't stop the guy from shooting at me. It just made it so I had no idea where I was going. Uh, which is in terribly, terribly inconvenient. Um, grab on the eagle. Okay, is this the bird we saw flying before? Okay, and he's just gonna carry me over here. Ah! This is, yeah, so, this is kind of encapsulating a lot of the problems I had with the earlier Sonic games. But, like, it's more, there's more of it here. Where I just, I don't feel like I'm playing the game. Um, like, I, I'm controlling him, but only kind of. Okay, so, did it start to, alright, it started to fall while I was on, I guess. I'm supposed to just run really fast. There we go. Uh, but, like... This invisibility thing is killing me. Like, I have enough trouble telling where he is when I can see him. Um, but like, so I jump in the air to do my attack or whatever. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to. I fall off everywhere. So, when I jump in the air to do an attack, though, um, crap, crap. The camera, like, jumps behind me. Sometimes, and... Like, the camera angle changes while I'm in the air, so all of a sudden, I'm I'm flying through the air with, as far as I know, nothing beneath me, and I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to land, because I can't see Sonic half the time. It's really annoying. Um, I just don't think this character translates well into 3D at all. Like, there might be some of the 3D games that are good, but honestly, everything that about the character that's interesting, like, moving fast, uh, well, really, that's it. But moving fast seems like something better suited for the 2D environments because um, you have less to keep track of that way. Let's see. But like here, I like how do, how was I supposed to land on that rope? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm how to make that work. Um, we're dead. Okay, I don't care. Um, we're not gonna see the rest of the level because frankly, I find this game infuriating. Um, Oh wait, what's this? Is... I've come here to obtain the secret of the planes of disaster from you, and to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secret, the Chaos Emblem. Now, Princess, this way, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, obviously, I assume people who have been playing this game on, like, the GameCube or Xbox or PS2 or whatever prior to this have been playing the 3D games more and are more familiar with this speed probably would have had a much less difficult time adapting to it than I did. Um, frankly, I just wasn't uh, prepared for it, I guess. But I came, I came in and I was dropped in and then I just... Half the time I had no idea what was happening on the screen. And I just didn't care enough to invest in it but like so the gameplay they're showing here all looks like it's competently played and I'm sure a Sonic fan who's played other games in the franchise or maybe even played this one would probably look more like that than what you saw me doing but um I, found it. The Iblis trigger. <laughs> I think it's really funny when Sonic tries to be dramatic though it's uh yeah, so let's go ahead and we'll quit out and go on to uh, our next demo here. Up next we have Fusion Frenzy. Uh, it's time to party on Xbox 360. This is the most fun you can have playing with up to three of your friends on one screen. Um, hopefully I can still have fun with just myself. Because as usual, demo reel is all about me playing with myself. Uh, this is a Hudson game, looks like. Uh, I haven't played any of the later Hudson games. Um, like, I've played some of the, like, really old, uh, stuff, uh, at, like, uh, on, on, like, SNES and stuff like that. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. I think we've seen Hudson on Dimmo Wheel, but I can't think of what it would have been. It just seems like we, surely we must have, because it, it feels like they've made a bunch of games. But anyway, let's see what we've got here. I don't even know exactly what kind of game this is. It looks like we've got a mini game frenzy. Um, so, like all the party talk and the mini games, I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a, a hip Mario party. Um, I kind of like this purple girl back here. Um, a couple of these characters are kind of interesting looking. So, let's see. Okay, so I can set these as calm. Let's, um, we'll leave them at normal now. They'll probably beat me, because I don't know how to play this, but, um, we've got three playable mini-games, it looks like, so we can probably, uh, burn through these pretty quickly. There's a whole bunch of them here. You're kind of getting a quick look through as I scroll back down. Man, there's a lot of these. Um, we yeah, got Conveyor Belt, Chaos, Sumo Paint, and Ice Treasure Hunter, the three we'll be doing. Um, Let's see, uh, be the one to carry the most containers in the stadium back to base using a vehicle with a lift arm attached to the front. Uh, you can also carry off containers that other players have carried back to their base before time runs out. Okay, so I've played mini games like this. I'm trying to think of the names of the ones this reminds me of. Like, I know, uh, Pokemon Stadium, I think 2 had a, a game with this kind of premise to it, and I'm pretty sure Mario Party did as well, but, um, this, yeah. Oh, wait, I have to hit him at a certain angle? Or, oh, there we go. That's right. I have to hit A to pick it up. Okay, this is, yeah. I'm not expecting to do well here. Um, especially now that I've had that guy bump into me a few times, but there we go. Okay. Got two of them. That's not the best, but okay. Um, I guess... Oh, what? What, ha what happened? Why did I disappear? I don't know. I don't know what caused that to happen. Um, oh, what, you can steal off of, okay, so knowing that, um, well, oh, jeez, get out of here, okay, everybody's stealing mine, um, why, like, I have by far the least, so I don't know what the motive would be for, to steal mine, um, <laughs> get out of here, okay, so I made him disappear, I, yeah, that would take a couple tries to really understand the rules, I don't know why I died for a second earlier. Um, I would have been stealing theirs a lot earlier if I had thought of that. Um, so let's try Sumo Paint now. Just go through these each one. Uh, try to gather the most points as you ride a spherical vehicle that paints the stadium grounds your color. The one is a player who has painted the most panels when the time runs out. If you fall off the stage, you will lose control for a period of time. Hey, we sounds kind of like similar to a game we played in Crash Bash, actually. Um, so... This game, I'm trying to decide if I like this aesthetic. Like, honestly, I would prefer something a little bit more childlike. I, th I'm not sure what exactly the point is of making a game like this that see appears to be targeting like teenagers who are probably the ones least likely to want to play a game like this. Like, I think, um, I don't know. I think even teenagers, like the type of teenagers who would want to play a party game like this, would probably either prefer to go for something more childlike or they would not be playing this. I don't know, I'm just having a hard time imagining this going over well with uh, any specific demographic. I like. I think there are definitely people who could enjoy this game, but um, yeah, it's kind of, it's just weird how it's kind of mixing uh, who it's targeting. I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into this right now. Uh, I like, I don't know. The It's just something about it <laughs> I don't really care. I guess it's, pro it's probably because I'm playing comms. That's what it is. Because I'm playing the uh, computer, I really don't care if I win. I don't have any real... I don't feel like I have any real motivation uh, to win any of these. And that's not the game's fault. I should probably acknowledge that. Um, I really don't... Uh, just don't care. Attempt to gather the most coins by melting down the randomly appearing blocks of ice that are trapped within... There are three different types of coins, each with a different point value. Um, so I move with left stick and then right trigger or X to fire. Um, Alright, I... Yeah. So this is just a shooting one? Okay. I guess we can do this. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I actually... Okay, yeah. Alright, so... Um, it seems like this one will be harder to... Um, steal from people. Like, obviously, right there, somebody had that coin, and then I, like, ran up and grabbed it. Um, 
Oh, he knocked me over. Okay. Yeah, so... Like, attacking the players does seem to be pretty useful here. Um... Oh, I got knocked over. So... Yeah. The, I, I don't know the value of the coins just by looking at them, so there's been a few times I've fought over something I probably didn't really need. Um... See, we actually seem to be winning this one, though. Oh, well... Let's see. I'm having a hard time turning now, all of a sudden. There we go. Okay. Get out of here, green. I hate you. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, so, I guess a quick indicator would be the size of the iceberg. Probably. Um... Anyway. We, yeah, we won that one, so that's good. We did win at least one. Um... And I think... We, like, I think we could have done better on the others if uh, I just felt more invested, but I was kind of on autopilot on all three of these. I'm honestly surprised I won any of them. So um, I think that's it though. I don't think there's really anything else to, to do here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move on. We've got one more demo here to unlock and then we can uh, wrap this one up. Alright, so now that we've cleared out all of these, I went ahead um, the way this works, the point system, you see here is 100 out of 100 launch points, you guys have probably noticed that while I've been playing. So, playing all of these got me close to getting enough to play the extra demo, but then I went ahead, watched all these videos, then there was also some quizzes, I went ahead and did these, so I'm now 50 points away from hitting level 2, so I'll, I'll get to look forward to that next time we play uh, another Xbox 360 demo disc. But anyway, I got the uh, locked content, there's galleries here for Def Jam and Half-Life 2, but that's not what we're interested in. We want to play this Tenchu Senpan demo. Uh, you won't play this demo anywhere else. We managed to snag an early Japanese copy of this demo straight from Microsoft in Japan. Honestly can't decide which is more annoying. Having to put in a code that I found on the internet or having to watch all those videos. Because really, maybe one or two of the videos I watched to, to get this were worth it. Um, most of them were really, really boring and some of them were kind of like extra long, like five minutes. Uh, of watching a video about a game I will never ever play. Um, so it's been a while since we've had a Tenchu game. We've played, I think, two of them? Uh, I remember we played it in one of the very first episodes. It might have been the first one. It was like the first or second episode of Demo Reel we played. Uh, probably the original Tenchu uh, on the PS1. And then um, I think we played a sequel game uh, on the PS2 later. I don't remember what episode off the top of my head, but uh, this one's going to be a lot later, obviously, than any of those were. Um, and I have kind of mixed feelings about it. Like, I don't know, it's just a little bit too generic, or at least the elements that I've seen of it just feel like, you know, kind of like, this is ninja stuff, uh, but there's not a lot else to it. Um, like, some ninja games, like Ninja Gaiden, have their own feel to them, and whether you like or dislike that feel, they at least feel distinct. Um, and I think the second Tenchu game we played did have a little bit of that going on. Was it, it did feel like it had a little bit of design elements that were kind of unique to it. The first one we played just felt like straight up ninja stuff. And that's kind of what this video is looking like. Um, like none of these characters are standing out to me. Like even that guy who's got like the scar and the white hair. Like all of the elements to him are still just kind of like just generic ninja stuff. Like this is the badass ninja. He's got white hair and a scar over his eye. Um... So, I don't know. Gameplay-wise, I haven't been able to get into these, but I could see how somebody else would. They just haven't really appealed to me personally. Um, especially the first game. But I, I've, I've had... There was something frustrating about the first game. I don't remember what it was. I think it was just that I couldn't see much of anything. I don't know what these say. I'm going to assume the top one is play and the bottom one is quit. Um, I'll try out what the bottom selection was before we're done here, if it takes me back to the menu. Um, uh, I don't know what these are. I guess these are character slots? Okay, so, let's see, we'll be a female, um, oh, this is different options, okay. Um, here, I kinda like that, that's fine. Um, I'm not wanting to spend a whole lot of time on this, though I do, I do enjoy character creation stuff a lot, it's just not, um, something I want to invest a lot of time in now, so let's see. I think start is to select it? Yeah, okay. And then this must be stats. I don't know what these are. I'm gonna assume... Uh, hold on, how do I select it? Oh, oh I, they're already all maxed out, but I can lower some to raise others. Let's just leave them evenly distributed. Um, 
move forward here. Uh, wait, is this another character? Okay, this one's a male. I don't get the option to change this one's gender. <laughs> but, I, I like this smiling face, let's do that. Um, and then can change his outfit here. Let's see. Make him a smiling eye patch guy. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing this is like our support character maybe. Um, so yeah, it, it's a little hard to jump into this not really knowing what anything is. There's a voice. I'm trying to... Yeah, it's, it's speaking in Japanese, so I'm just going to talk over it. I'm assuming most of my viewers don't understand Japanese. I don't. Um, so I have no idea what the story they're trying to convey here is. Uh, obviously, they just grabbed this demo and just put it in this disc uh, the way it was in Japan. They didn't make any effort to um, localize it at all. You, I don't know. You would think... Uh, nah, never mind. I, I'm not sure what I was going to say. It's just... Um, I, I just have... No, there's no hand holding here, is what I'm trying to say. They didn't put in anything to help us understand what we need to do. So, we're going to be playing this even more blind than usual. <laughs> but that's okay, we've played uh, these imported demos before in other discs. So here we are, we're the, the female character here. I don't know what the male character was or where he'll show up. Uh, I'm not sure why we had to make two characters. But, uh, okay, so there's these guys, are they attacking me? Okay, it looks like it, so... um. Let's see, I'm just trying to guess at buttons here, because uh, it showed us controls, but I couldn't read them. So these guys are man. Why do none of my attacks do any? Or none of my buttons really seem to do much of anything. Like I couldn't do anything. Um. Oh, maybe uh, something must have been changing my item selection. So let's see. Oh, it's what you're gonna kick us out? Ah. Uh, okay, I'll meet you guys back in here. Alright, so, um, let's see, let's experiment here. Okay, so using the D-pad I can cycle between these items. Yeah, we should have done this beforehand, I guess. I, d I really thought, usually, um, in a game you can at least kind of guess what you need to do. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, Y uses my equipped item. Um, I only have one shuriken? Okay, well, my bomb got him. Can I pick this shuriken back up? Uh, yeah, okay. That's good, but, um... I probably want to try to avoid contact. I'm assuming our main goal here is to kill the guy with the pipe we saw earlier. It showed him on the loading screen and we're a ninja, so I'm assuming assassination is our objective here. Um, what is this top thing? Can I kill people with this? Um, oh, it made me invisible. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm invisible. Just gonna run past this guy. He didn't notice me. That's good. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I'm assuming not long, so I'm trying to head for the docks. Or what I assume is the docks. Maybe uh, I don't know where I'm going. Um, <laughs> but now, now I'm visible. So that's just great. I'm not going to be able to do the stealth elements of this game well. Um, we've seen that in the past with other uh, games that I've played. I'm just, I just can't wrap my head around stealth gameplay. Um, in very limited quantities, I can sometimes get the job done. But uh, here, I'm just going to run straight for this guy. See if I can kill him. Uh, Okay, so I'm on the boat. Oh, hey, and there's another guy here. Um, I'm glad I came back into this. I I didn't want to leave this ga game the way it was after I did all that work to get to it. But Oh, hey, there's our, our male character. That's the other guy we made. Not him, but the... There he is. He came to join me. Oh, look how happy he is. Okay. This guy's got really sad eyebrows. <laughs> so, I wish... I don't know what the what's going on here, but I'm, I'm guessing this guy stole our kill. Um, but I don't, I still don't know how to use my sword, though. I've got one, but I don't know how to use it. Uh, I just, um, hold on. Okay, so I can block that way? Uh, yeah, this is whatever my I equipped item is, is right there. But, uh, thankfully he seems content to not attack me right this moment. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know how to attack. It's really frustrating. Um, yeah, I don't, I have no idea. It's, this is kind of baffling. Um, nothing, nothing pulls my sword out. I've tried every single button. Uh, none of them make my sword come out. Uh, 
What is this thing here? Uh, oh, I guess it... Okay, that probably healed me. Alright, that's what it looks like. And then... This is something. Uh... I don't know. Uh... Why can't I attack? Why? This is so... This is so frustrating. Because, like, there's no clear way to, a to swing my sword. Um, all I want to do is pull my sword out. But no, no button does that. Um... Let's see. We've got the start menu. It doesn't seem to do a whole lot. There's our map. Uh, I, okay, I've now officially pressed every button on this controller. And nothing pulls out the sword. Um, so I guess I'll just try to hit him with my shuriken and hope for the best. Let's see. Uh, he's just flipping around here. But hit. <laughs> And I missed. Fantastic. Hold on, I need to pick this up. Ah, crap. <laughs> I did not expect that to work, but, uh, man, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea how to fight him, so let's go for a swim. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, I didn't die. I thought I, I thought I was dead, so that's good. Um, we're still invested here. The, I wonder where my friend went. I had, like, my eye patch guy is gone. Did he kill him? I hope not. Uh, I was hoping he might help us some, but, uh, hold on. Can I hit the... It's interesting that they don't seem to be able to get up here. Um, there. I got him in the face, good. Okay, we're off to a good start. I heard it, I heard it hit him, so it didn't kill him, obviously, but, uh, I don't know, what is, what does this do? It's something that targets as well. Can I, um... Hit them? Well... Doesn't... Okay, so now I've got fire... Uh, around my my little kanji there, but I don't know what... Doesn't appear to do anything. Uh... Okay, anything that has a... A, like, question screen, I don't think I want to select. Yeah, so... Ah... Uh, this is really, this is really kind of pissing me off that I have no way of fighting this guy. Um, like, just anything, any way to swing my sword at all would be so great. Um, I just don't, it's just not letting me. Uh, wait, oh, okay, I was holding left trigger and I hit X, and that seemed to do it? So now X swings, okay, so now I can fight. Okay. Like, I, I don't expect to win, but at least now we have a chance, right? Like, there's an option here, and we've actually kind of got him stuck here because of our shenanigans. So he's kind of stuck just in, while I chop away at him. His little fat pirate friend doesn't seem too interested in jumping in here. Oh, I accidentally switched over my focus on him. We are covered in blood. Um, I guess probably the battle damage we took from him earlier didn't go away when we healed, I'm assuming. Okay, and I can, yeah, I can still block with the same button. Okay, so that's good. Uh, it took us forever to figure out how to get the sword, and I'm still not entirely sure, well, like, positive that I did it right, but, um, oh, they got me again. But at least we seem to have a chance now. Uh, it would be really nice if we had our friend, but I think he might have died while we were off trying to figure out how to use our sword. Um, I want to get rid of this guy. Okay, so now I can hopefully focus my attention on trench coat guy here. He doesn't seem that interested in fighting us. Um, oh, he's talking. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to attack me, so I blocked, but um, he seems more interested in doing flips and taunting us than actually fighting us. So he's not as intimidating as I thought he was when he first showed up. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, sweet. We actually somehow did it. Um, that's kind of shocking. Uh, this game... Oh, well, I was going to say this game must be easy for people who actually know how to play it, but probably this was like a tutorial fight and we were supposed to win this. But he seems to be retreating now. He still looks so sad. Um, but, yeah, I wish I knew what he, I, I wish I could know what he was saying. I'm, I'm curious what exactly the story here is, but I don't know, I don't know anything about the storyline to any of the Tenshu games. Um... Like, I own one of them, but I've never played it. I just, I bought it because it was like $3, uh, and it was one of the PS1 ones. Um, I thought, 
you know, this might be something fun to let's play at some point. But then I, I never really did, and I wasn't too impressed with the, uh, with the demo of it. But yeah, coming 10-5 looks like. Uh, so that, that'll do it. Um, let's go ahead and see what the second option is. Yeah, okay, so the second option on the menu is does appear to be quit demo, which is kind of what I thought. So that should do it for us here. We, um, we had some fun. Uh, I don't know. I, um, let's see. Yeah, there's so much other stuff on this disc, but so so little of it is interesting. It's kind of surprising, and I do kind of resent having to, um, like to be forced to do things to unlock this demo. Like it wasn't a whole lot, um, because we only needed 800 points, and then after doing everything, I ended up with 950. But um, I don't know. I th I would have been satisfied if it was just play each demo. But even that, like um would only be convenient for me. It would have still been inconvenient for anyone who just wanted to play the Tenchu demo. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll be doing another one of these 360 demos anytime soon. I don't have another one right now, but I'm sure I could get my hands on one anytime I felt like it. But um, thanks for watching, and come back next week. We'll uh, we'll play something else. I don't know what yet, but we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with it, whatever it is. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. We all make choices. ことが許されるわけない。私絶対許さない。力が欲しい。行くぞ。自分の影に勝つんだ。奴らにとってはまだ成功は続いているのよ。終わりだよ。ひどい。何が始まるんだ。打ちたいもん。涙は悲しみを洗い流してくれるものだから、どんどん泣いていいんだよ。かっかっかっかっこいい。好きだ。己の未熟を感じた。あわやと思った時、すべての時が止まってな。あいつにひどいことするような奴は